This is Jeanette from China and this is episode number 8 of Sourcing from China. Today I'm in Hengang, the biggest sunglasses wholesale market here in Shenzhen. And this place is not simply a wholesale market. It's producing over 60% of the world's high-end sunglasses with a global reach of over 120 countries. So probably the sunglasses you are wearing right now actually is exported from this place. And if you are an e-commerce business owner on the hunt for stylish and good quality of sunglasses, then this video is for you. Okay, let's go! These blocks behind me from here to here, all these blocks are selling sunglasses. As one of the top five hubs in the eyewear industry in China, Hengang has over 30 years of history in production of eyewear with over 800 companies in the glasses supply chain. It has an annual production exceeding 125 million pairs of glasses with a total production value over 2 billion US dollars per annum. Today, I come here to select samples for a sunglasses brand. How about this one? There's a lot of choices here, so I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know which one to, to choose. Two hours later. While we are waiting for the sunglasses, let me go and get some coffee first. And I'm looking for my favorite lacking coffee. Oh, here it is. This one. Haha, <laughs> let's go. It's really a very hot day. Uh, we have received many inquiries asking for the original manufacturers for certain brands. And to address these questions, I have published a blog on our website and I will put the links below for your further reading and reference. And since today we are in Hengang, so I will take the sunglass as an example to explain the process in sourcing. To create a complete product like this, it will require at least three manufacturers. Why I say three manufacturers? Um, the box. Manufacturer 1, the sunglasses, Manufacturer 2, the cleaning cloth inside, Manufacturer 3. The number of manufacturers involved will depend on the number of materials that you're going to use. For example, this sunglass, the frame is one kind of like material and the leg is like a stainless steel and this part is a different kind of material. So the techniques used in producing this piece is more complicated than this piece. And because for this piece, all the materials uh, are the same, so it'll be easier uh, to uh, find a supplier for this specific material. And this one will require like more manufacturers who are specifying in uh, supplying certain material. So from a manufacturing perspective, this piece is more complicated than this piece to produce. And please also remember that each customization part requires a MOQ, minimum order quantity. So the more customization you make, the more initial amount of investment you need to initiate the production on the manufacturer side. A well-established brand usually are working with multiple manufacturers and sources from various channels. And the product they sell in a new collection can either be their own design and customized by the factory, or they can also select the factory's existing design uh, but put on their own logo. And certain countries categorize the sunglasses as personal protective equipment, uh, aka PPE, which implies there are certain market entry standards these products must meet. And as an importer, it's your responsibility to connect with the relevant authorities to ensure that the product that you are importing complies with the local regulations. By doing so, we can avoid a lot of um, legal and compliance issues in the future and ensure a smooth transaction and an importing process. Okay, that is all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel. If you need any dropshipping, fulfillment and logistics service from China, welcome to contact me by WhatsApp or visit our website below.
Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.